Are the beauty YouTubers lying to us? I want answers, and I want them now. I've seen this foundation in a few beauty YouTubers videos. Not all of them, but like I've seen them a couple times here and there. So they were using it, they were praising it, and then I looked at their description box and it linked me to their HiCharis.com shop. I don't even know what that is. What is it, like a pyramid scheme? Like, are they selling this off of a commission? So I haven't even told you what this product is. This is the self-coating, never be the same foundation. I'm just gonna drop some names. I've seen Riza Kontawi use this and she loves it. She has a High Charis, High Charis store. I've seen Mei Layug praise this as well. And she says Ray Hermar also uses this. So I'm like, why? I'm very curious now as to why they like this and why it's only them talking about it. If you look this foundation up on YouTube, they're the only ones who are gonna pop out who are mentioning this product. As of today, you know, like it's July 9. It's July 9 and they're the only ones who have videos on this. Them and this one other girl who also has a high chair store. This is supposed to be like a Korean foundation with very deep morena shades. So that's what it claims. That's the biggest claim that it has. That's that's why a lot of people are talking about it. But I want to know why Ryza and May are selling this on their High Charis store. So I didn't buy this off of their High Charis store. No, no, no. I bought this off of Shopee. This is from Korea. Like, I bought this from Korea. Well, they have their official Shopee store, but it came from Korea. How much did I buy this? I don't even remember. I don't even remember how I bought. So I bought this for 566 pesos from coswellkorea.ph official. I think I'm the second person to ever order from their store. They delivered it to me in a box and it had the address and it was definitely from Seoul. Let's just get into this product. The claims are it's a medium to full coverage and it's oil free. This oil free foundation is strong in moisture and sweat. It covers pores and wrinkles to create clean and smooth skin. Nice. Check the container gently before use. After basic makeup, use a hand or brush to apply along with the skin texture. What does that mean? After basic makeup? Like, is this supposed to go after makeup? Anyway, it came to me in this like sort of plastic packaging, plastic box sort of thing. I got the shade Golden Sand. So this is what the packaging looks like. I hope you can see it, but like it's like a squeezy tube. It has a seal here with the shade and you open it up and it's like a, like that. That's what it looks like. Yes. <laughs> so let's just get into it because I have work to do. <laughs> Why do I always choose to film on like days where I have so many things to do? But I'm just gonna prime my skin. I'm gonna use the Etude House Glow On Hydra Base. I turned off my AC today, by the way. Tell me if that's better, please. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a pore fill with the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. Okay, let's just get into the foundation now. So again, I have the shade Golden Sand. So. Oh, let's squeeze out a little bit of it. Okay. Oh, is that too much? So I squeeze out that much. Oh, it's running. Oh, it's liquidy. The shade actually looks kind of good, I think. So I'm going to apply it with a brush. This is how I apply foundation. Claims of this, supposed to be medium to full coverage. Oh yeah, that's a nice shade for me. I'm just going to dot it on half of my face first. I assume that this will not set that fast because it's a very liquidy foundation. doesn't really have a smell. Looks really good on camera. Yeah, coverage wise, it's not really full at all. <laughs> I would say this is like a solid high medium coverage. It's very natural on the skin. I just want to know if these people are lying to me just so that I can buy their product. I also want to know what high Charis is. Like, what is that? <laughs> It's not setting down yet. It's still very malleable right now, but you don't really get much of a shine. I think it's very like satin matte right now. I'm just gonna apply it on this side of my forehead as well, just so that we can compare the two sides of my face. <laughs> Oof, my back is aching. I don't know why my back is aching. It looks really good on camera. Like on camera, it looks so good. In person, it's just, it's just not really spectacular. Like it's not really giving me anything. It's not giving me anything that I'm like really about you know what I mean but this is it on one half of my face it looks really smooth on camera in person too it looks really smooth coverage wise it's just not it's just not full but I don't know maybe we can build it up later I don't know this is it compared to no foundation with foundation no foundation 
with foundation. I mean, so far, like, I'm not mad at it. I mean, I didn't really expect to hate this. Like, I don't really expect to like it. I didn't really expect to hate it either. I just wanted to get to the truth. Why are these influencers talking about it all at the same time? And why are they selling it in their high chair store? So I'm just gonna do my other face real quick. But yeah, the way Riza described this, she was like covering up a mark on her arm and it fully covered it. But she did use two layers, but right now it's not really, it's not really giving me full coverage, you know? Like I know what full coverage looks like. Yeah, right now it's just looking pretty standard. Like I'm not really that wowed by it. <laughs> I think it just takes a lot for me to really like fall in love with the foundation but i know maybe this wear is really good for a korean foundation i really like the shade i really like the shade of this so i want to see how this builds up on my cheeks i mean yeah it's it's not really doing anything <laughs> Like, it's not really doing anything mysterious, you know what I mean? Like, it's not lifting up the foundation underneath it. It's really, it's building up, but like, not by a lot. Personally, the coverage of a base product for me really comes out once I powder my face. But based on first impressions, it's just pretty standard for me. It's a pretty standard foundation. I'm not like head over heels with it. Like, it's fine. Like, I don't mind it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give it a couple of seconds to set down. I wanna see if it sets down at all. But while waiting for that to set, I'm just gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna go in with Benefit Boing. Since the AC is off, I feel like it's so quiet in this room. <laughs> it's so awkward. So this is it with concealer on and it is not setting. It is still quite tacky, so I will set my face. I'm just setting my under eyes with the Maybelline Super Stay Powder Foundation. And I'm gonna set everything else with the Cody Airspun. I think this is naturally neutral. It's so hot, oh my gosh. I was planning to do my whole face on camera, but like I can't, I don't think I can do it without the AC on. I'm very dependent on the AC. <laughs> like I'm so dependent on the AC, I actually got sick one time and my AC was broken. Okay, it sets nicely. Yeah, it's still not full coverage even though it's set personally. So this is what it looks like after powder and concealer and everything excuse me if you see any sort of like <laughs> no sweat i think it looks pretty standard looks pretty good i'm not mad at it yeah so i'm gonna do my makeup and i'll come back to you guys with the final look and we're gonna do some check-ins for today and then i'm gonna come back a week later with my final thoughts on this foundation thumbnail should i do a thumbnail Alright, so this is the final look. I went a little crazy with the makeup, so I look really good. I love this lip. So far, I have no issues with it whatsoever. Like, everything was fine. Everything was good. I love the shade of it. I think I really chose the right shade, even though I don't think I mentioned, but it was kind of hard to choose the shade. I just went off of, like, what I felt was right for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to see if Riza and May chose the perfect product for me. So, I'm just gonna, like, zoom in a little closer to you guys Ooh. so this is it starting point looks really nice look at that it's so pretty everything looks really good so far so i'm excited to see the thing is also with riza and May's uh, videos with this i feel like they didn't really tell me much about the wear time and how it looks by the end of the day so that's what we're gonna know but i'm gonna be popping in here and there for some check-ins to see how it goes i'm actually legit excited like i don't i don't hate this so far so good i'm really enjoying it oh i'm so excited it looks so good on camera also in person it looks nice pretty standard to be honest so yeah see you later Hey guys, okay, so it is 4.31 right now. I finished my makeup at around 10.45. I don't know how long that is. <laughs> so I did work outside in the dining area for a couple hours and there is no AC there and I ate some spicy food. But given that it is a rainy day today, I don't think it's as hot as it can be. My oil isn't coming out that strongly on a day like this, that's highlight. But there's starting to be a little oil right there in the center of my face and all that. But everywhere else, it feels nice. It feels normal, like I don't feel like it's separating from my face or anything like that. So yeah, everything looks pretty good so far. I like this. I'm excited, I like it. Maybe Riza and May are onto something. 
we'll never know. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so, ooh, we're looking crazy here, huh? It is 8.48, just one hour short of a full 12 hours of wear. I just finished working now and it is, it's just been such a long day. I want to like get this makeup off because um it looks expired now <laughs> i will have to say after 11 hours of wear it feels like there's foundation on my skin like it doesn't feel powdery anymore you know what a foundation that still feels powdery after this long is maybelline superstay and laura mercier flawless fusion those two just feels powdery on the face until the end of the day this feels like you can feel the foundation like if i like touch hard enough yeah, it's gonna come off as you can see. Oil control, pretty standard to be honest, oil control wise. This is how oily I get with any foundation on the T-zone anyway. So I'm not that mad. I didn't touch up at all. But yeah, I look very plump. That's what I like about it so far, about this foundation, is that I look plump and like smooth and gorgeous. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using it for a week. I'll come back and I'll tell you my final thoughts on this what is this called? Self-coating foundation. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> okay, so it is about a week later, and I think I have gathered my thoughts on the self-coating never be the same foundation. So this foundation is absolutely alright. It's not like spectacular, it's not bad. It's it's okay. <laughs> I like that packaging, I like everything else. But yeah, wear time, how it applies everything else, it's fine. It's pretty standard for a foundation, especially for the price point of how much it is, 500 something pesos. It's not, you know, doing anything special. And in the last week, I think I understand what high Charis is or high Charis. I think it's basically like uh, influencers selling you stuff. So they test out a foundation or a product if they like it, they sell it on their Keras shop. I do have to say something about this though. I think it breaks me out. Every time I use this, when I take off my makeup, I have like a new zit, like something with pus in it. Like on the first day, like on my first impression day, I had one right here. And then I tried it again the following day and when I took it off, I had one right here. So that's something to note about this is that it breaks me out. I don't know if a breakout is supposed to be like a cluster of zits but like i only had like one so maybe it's not that bad i don't know but yeah it's okay am i gonna use it again yes but i'm not gonna repurchase it or anything it's not standing out to me as something special you know so are the influencers lying to us probably not <laughs> i get what they're trying to say I, I i do see it it's just not something that i'm like wow yes i understand what they're saying now so influencers aren't really lying to us but they are selling us something so <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this video. That's it for this foundation. I'm wearing it again today, by the way. So this is how it looks. So yeah, oh, f so yeah, test it out if you want it. I'm gonna leave the Shopee link down in the description box if you want it, or you can just like buy from Riza or May or whoever has a Karis shop. This is not a jab to the beauty influencers that sell this. It's just something that I wanted to know if it's true or not. And of course, I wanted to review this foundation because there aren't a lot of reviews on it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts on this if you've tried it. I don't know. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>